a world like none other. There comes one man in search of plastic, in search of cons. He is known as Plasticon. Join him as he brings toys from another dimension to a household near you. Back to yet another Plastic on review. Today we're going to cover yet another combiner. Yet a combiner I know a lot of folks are actually been after. Although this combiner is a KO, it's actually really pretty excellent. And here we go with a knockoff version of Land Cross. Yes, this is the box has very awesome artwork throughout the entire thing. This is very remnants of what would have been a set they would have released in Japan, except for it's got the crazy colors here, which looks very Generation 2. Keep in mind, the toys are still G1 color. They are not Generation 2 color. Back side, it's got some really sick artwork. From the original box art not to mention the 37 combination variation thingy literally 37 combinations this thing is insane it's awesome it's got a nice little picture there of land cross six to one super robot as they want to call it some metamorphs metamorphs it's kind of like animorphs i don't know anyhow Belgium. It's a Belgium project product, which is very weird. It's very cool. It's actually got very good artwork all the way throughout it. Um, for those who are really nitpicky on what goes on with their toys, this box is actually in very good condition. It is not. This has not been creased. Nothing. So you guys out there, oh my God! It's like, is that box in good condition? Am I going to flip out if I get it in its crinkle? You know what? These boxes are a box. It's a piece of cardboard. I'm going to put it in another box. I'm going to safely try to transport it. And if folks are mad about it, whatever, that's what it is. Especially for the prices I've been letting go of this stuff. Anyhow, that's Land Cross's box. In addition to the box, you get the instruction seat. Lots of instructions. Although there's really not much to the instructions, it literally just shows you how to put together a land cross. Kind of. Very weird. It is all in English. It's really weird. You would think stuff like this wouldn't be. But I don't know. It does come with a foam tray insert. Foam. Yes, yes, yes. You know, the, the stuff that they use all 80s toys with yes and as you can see every single solitary gun is here guys fists his feet pads his waist plate and his head so I ain't further ado let's check out Land Cross itself starting out with Winger. And more the camera, you noob. I'm, I'm professional, trust me, I'm professional with this. This is Winger. Very metallic on the paint here, by the way. It's very shiny. You like it. It's actually very good. These are, this is one to one scale. This is not one of those KOs that you get where. Oh, it only does one mode, or everything doesn't tab together, or I, I don't know. This is KO, so it is going to be slightly inferior to the original, but it's not actually that bad. It's got every single solitary gimmick. It's got both head modes that go up and back. There's nothing been robbed from this toy, other than the copyright. But we'll get onto that later. Anyhow, that is Winger in his jet mode. Very convincing jet. 
I do like him a lot. I really hate to let go of this set, but I have to. I've got to give money. Money is important right now. Unfortunately. Anyhow, you do what you normally do with him. You pull his legs out just like so. And then you'll fold his... Well, you fold on him. It's supposed to go forward in robot mode, which is really weird. I've never liked that. But beggars can't be choosers. Anyhow, what you'll do is you will push the uh, well, push up the arms. Fold this whole thing here back, and then go under here and push the head up. These things never want to push up, no matter what you do. That's why I tend to use like one of the guns from the lot. And unfortunately you gotta do the dodgy thing and stick the thing between his legs and make his head pop up and there you go! There's Winger in robot mode. It's where you squat. It's kinda cool. I do like him. He is very neat. Does have the little tabs. And he does have stickers. He doesn't have any paint on his face, although I don't, I've never owned the original, and I'm not sure if the original actually had paint on his face. I don't have my uh, collector's guide with me to actually debunk that or not. So. And you guys out there, I'm sure you're going to say something. Oh my god, it's got. I don't care if you nitpick. I'll be honest with you, I don't. It doesn't impress me. What impresses me are the folks that are like, they respect what it is. Those are the people that impress me. Anyhow, let's move on. Let's move on to... Um, let's see. Uh, Waver. Let's do Waver. Waver is a hovercraft. Well, not a hovercraft, but more or less a hydrofoil. This is a boat. That's what these things are for. When these boats are floating and they're in the water like this and they reach a high speed they get these skis that come up that's what a hydrofoil does it basically it's it's, it's a ski boat it literally skis it's pretty cool it does have a nice little blue going on here which isn't too bad paint is maybe a little teeny tiny dodgy right there but that's okay that's nothing you can't like touch up with like um, really nice blue sharpie or something you might be able to fix that with I myself I never really bothered with the whole repairing this that and the other mainly because I don't really have an issue with some knockoffs I actually like what knockoffs are like and sometimes being that way it doesn't matter got this nice little thing here that spins in the back that's where his fan is and, yeah. but anyway Anyway, rude interruption from the phone. Because phones. And family. And yeah. Anyhow, let's move on to the toy. Sorry about that. Move this out, just like so. Flip his feet forward. These you can pretty much put down flat. I tend to put them down flat because it helps make him a little more stable. These do separate. Because he's got big old clown feet. His arm's already forward. What you gotta do is reach in here and push this thing here up and pull his head up if possibly can. This is the only downfall of these entire sets, and the only thing that I could probably see a lot of kids in Japan during the 80s probably got very frustrated at this, and that's probably why there's not many of them around anymore, because kids tend to throw things away when it makes them mad. Um, or they blow them up. But, there you go. There's Waver in his robot mode. Not a painted face, but he does have a decent... His stickers are actually pretty good. All the stickers on these are actually really nice. They're not bad at all. They're, the quality, like that, these things have heft to them. I mean, they feel really good in hand, so they're not garbage at all. And there's Waver in his robot mode. Let's move on to... Uh, tackle. Let's do tackle. Tackle the truck. This is like a, uh, I don't know, this thing reminds me of Gears. I don't know why, but it just does. Um, 
I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I don't know why this thing reminds me of Gears. It just does. It's a little pickup truck. It's got a nice little camper thing here on the back. Pretty neat. I do like him a lot. He does have his little thing here sticking out, which you know, obviously that's from the, that's for the combining gimmick. But he's pretty cool. Very, very, very awesome. I do like this guy a lot. Transformation. Simple thing. Pull these out. And then you will move his arms forward, separate his legs, and then push his head up. Just like so. And there you go. With the stickers and everything. There's Tackle. He needs robot mode. Oh, come on now, baby. Now, you know, you notice I haven't put all the guns and stuff in their hands. Well, that's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't really think we need to go that in depth. I mean, obviously, I'm doing these for mainly self bread. And this is my opinion on the Metamorphosis set. It's actually a very good set. If you weren't able to get a hold of the reissue version of these guys, this is probably going to be your next best thing. Because trying to get the original, you are going to pay a lot of money. Just up front. Let's go on to Dash. Dash is the sports car. Kind of reminds me of a uh, like Faro, something like that. It does have a bit of a paint over spray here. I don't think you can really scratch it off, I and mean, it doesn't come off very easily. So I mean, it's one of those things. They tampled these things pretty good when they actually did that. Although the the blue is very blue. It's very 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 blue. It's it actually matches the. Uh, it's, yeah, it is. It's the same color blue off of his cockpit. So they did a very good job on picking out colors on these guys. I have to admit that. Anyhow, that's his car mode. It's pretty cool. You like it a lot. It's kind of funny how this thing here sticks up. So every time I see that sticking up, I'm thinking, well, this must be like a fire response car or something like that, or you know, some kind of red police car. Pretty neat. Transformation. Pull his little legs down. Separate here. Then you're going to grab these and fold these sideways. It's kind of difficult to do sometimes. Um, if you're scared you're going to break it, these guys are held to there with screws, so it's very easy to loosen a screw. Fold these things forward like that as a rotator. And then you push his head up. It seems like every one of these I've actually had to. Well, maybe not. And there you go. There's Dash. It's pretty cool. I do like him a lot. He does have clown feet, but I mean that's kind of the charm of these guys. This is one of those sets that a lot of folks don't understand that these were in a mod. Like back in the day, this was like the coolest thing in the world. But then Energon came out, and Energon tried to duplicate what this guy does and failed miserably. Anyhow, let's go ahead and do um, Mach, which is an APC military vehicle. Yes, it's it's an it's an APC. That's all there is to it. It's very cool. I do like it a lot. I like the mold. Um, as for the molding, it's not actually too bad on these guys. I have seen really, 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 really bad knockoffs of these guys. I actually did a review way back in the day, and I have not deleted that review of the inferior version that was just horrendous and. I just got it because I wanted to get a hold of the molds at the time, and it was Tuesday mornings, there was nothing for it, so I bought it. And then I got a hold of this version, and the rest is history. Anyway, transformation. Put it all the way up. Put his arms up. Break his legs. his head up. It seems to be a pain sometimes. Only sometimes. For some reason this one doesn't want to go up. It's very stiff. 
Probably because I haven't really transformed these that much. It's just a heads up to the, uh, the folks that are going to be wanting one. I have not transformed these that very much, so if they are stiff to the buyer, that is why. And yeah, I had it backward because this is what it's supposed to be. But there you go. There's Mock. Mock? Is this Mock? Oh. This isn't Mock. This is Dash. You know what? I get them all mixed up. Sorry. This is the tank guy. The tank guy. The tank guy. Yeah, tank guy. There you go. In Robot mode. Here's Mock, because he's a space shuttle. <gasps> swear. Sometimes I fail. Anyway. Space shuttle! I actually really love this guy. I like the uh, the design over... The, the whole design of this guy is really neat. Um, I like the idea that they decided to take the chest shield and make that the wings. I mean, that's really neat that they actually just stuck this underneath and was like here just use that for the wings and, and it works and it does a very good convincing job of becoming wings and it just tabs in with these two little uh, holes right here tap with these two he does have wheels these all have wheels they somewhat roll as rolling things should roll but anyway simple transformation like this like this, like this. Actually, these are first before we start moving these. And, and that's a word of warning. If you do own these, and I don't care if you have the original or not, if you don't move the arm up, this joint right here is right underneath the arm, and it could break. And there's only a swivel portion right here. Even on the originals, it swivels right there. These are identical to the originals. And then he goes, he goes around like that, and then you give him his dolphin feet. It's really weird because this thing that's sticking on his chest is like humongous. But there he is, there's Mach. There they are, all in their robot modes. Now, they have another gimmick that they do. And I'm only going to do this one. I'm not going to sit here and do all 37 combinations. Why? Because we would be here all night. Well, let's sit here and do this one the correct way. Which, primarily what I'll do is I'll just take one of these guys and be like, okay, well, I'm going to make you the uh, top of him. And some of you guys know where this is going. Some of you are like, what the heck is he about to do? So, primarily do is this thing. Are very stiff, by the way. Just gonna warn you on that because I don't, I don't do these combinations that often with these guys, so you're gonna just have to deal with that if you do buy it. And this head comes up. Now, this is what's crazy about these guys: is the head sculpt that's on the bottom is going to be different than the one that is on the top on every single solitary one of them, and they are not duplicated. No. So you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different head sculpts. Technically 13 if you count the combiner one. So. It's a very cool bot. Um, I do have to admit that I really feel sad about getting rid of the set. And yes, they can pop right out really easily if you're not careful. Because, you know, they're just pegged in. Anyway, I'm going to get into derpy arm mode it just works and what you do is you take these arms here and you push these backward and you can leave this head up but I kind of suggest just pushing it back down and then you've got this set of tabs and that set of tabs and then they plug on top of each other just like so and then there you go now you got to combine the robot which is kind of funny looking and it, the proportions are better now because he's got these big derpy arms to meet the derpy 
legs, but the axle, it kind of works. And that's the way all these guys work. They work like this. I mean, it's not going to fall apart at all. And I've seen a lot of folks that buy these things and then, you know, 10 minutes after getting them, busted up, tab off because they're not careful. You've got to be gentle when you pull these guys apart, period. I've had KOs that are worse than this one that the tab just goes I don't know where it went. That or it's stuck inside and you're never going to be able to fix that again. So my suggestion is when you're putting these guys together and you're having issues trying to get them apart, maybe get like something to put underneath there that isn't going to put a lot of stress but enough strength in order to kind of help wedge it and pop it loose if you're one of those ones that's very meticulous about everything you do because I know there's some people out there like that but I happen to not be because I'm a customizer and I'm also a filmmaker and I've learned in life that things happen, things break. Anyway, it's a toy. It's a very rare toy, but it's a toy. I don't know why I was putting it in the show. Anyhow, that's what happens when I ran up. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's get this thing in a land cross mode. <sighs> well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take Waver. And you're going to move his arms backward. Push his head down. Head shouldn't be sticking out at the bottom either. Then you're going to take these, and then you're going to rotate them around. And do this with them. Now... When you put them in this weird configuration, next thing you're going to do is you got these little black tabs here. And now this is something I've noticed with a lot of KOs out there. A lot of them don't even have this tab. So that's one thing. This thing literally is identical to the original one. These fold down. Now you gotta be very gentle on this kind of um, tab assembly that this thing does, because this is the gimmick that the whole thing has and it will connect completely together like this. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take tank guy, put his head down, because I can't remember his name for some reason. And push that all down. And then do this back around the other way because you got these tabs here you're gonna stick on this little bit of green thing so you gotta go back a little bit. And by the way, if these things do loosen, everything on this thing is screwed. Everything's a screw. So, it wouldn't be too hard to fix some things. If something's too tight, unscrew it, get a little file, and throw it down. And then you go. Happens. That's what you have to do with G1 sometimes when you really get pretty old. They do the same thing with this guy. Primarily, you just put these guys back in vehicle mode. Then what you do. grab these plates. Now these plates, I probably should have shown this earlier, but these will plug into the top. And it forms guts and doesn't fall. I got little holes there. But anyhow, this puts them there. That's foot. This does the same thing. It's in the opposite direction. There you go, you got a pair of feet. Clog hoppers. Then what you do, so I got these backwards. I don't know how that happens. It's just weird how that happens. Let's do it this way. Take these guys here and load them into here. I got one. You take this guy here and you put him in. Gently. There we go. 
looks like so. And there we go, you got a pair of legs. Take these little feet here and put them back on now. Just like so. There you go. Now you got the lower, po uh, lower torso. Now what's funny about this is you can actually do this in a robot mode. All you gotta do now is just fold his hands forward and pop up his head and he's like the little dweeb. Come on, it's hilarious, I'm sorry. Funny that you can do that. Hang on, let's take the winger here. And winger, we are going to turn upside down like this. We just head in. Arms flip them back. You can leave his cockpit pushed back. And you're gonna push his whole entire torso together and then you're gonna fold these together. Just like so. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wing. Now this wing's got the two holes on the back, and those will plug into these. In the front. Like so. Then pull. Then go nowhere. See, you can technically use that as jet mode, like this. Anyway. Spare wings, in case these wings get ripped off, I guess. Not. Then you take this guy, and you plug him in. Like that. Just like that. Like that. Like that. Then, I'm take this little dude and do this. And do this. And then you're going to move these to the side again. Now, I have a hole on one side, which that is for the fist. So, what I primarily do with these is I will move these backward, face them toward the back. And then this here will become a shoulder thing, and then this right here will actually plug in to the side. Now, if you notice, Winger's got these things on the sides, which allows you to use. Well, doesn't really work real well with this sticking forward, so you have to go the other direction. So move his arm backward toward his tail fan. It's been a while since I've done this. You guys got to go. Normally, I take about 30 to 40 minutes to put one of these guys together. Oh, there we go. Yay! We got an arm and a shoulder. Now, see, the shoulder thing looks kind of weird like this. So, what you can do is fold this little thing here in and then rotate it forward like that. And then he's got the shoulder pad. And then that falls in. And we'll put that to the side. So Get big, so let's move up a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing with him. Going to move these to the front. Actually, yeah. And then turn this into the shoulder. This is where the fist goes. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take these. These will plug directly into his hands. Well, not his hands, but these holes. Now these are all 5mm port. I have plugged them into other things too, so they look like that just fine. And then you do that. Now, if you don't like these little things on the inside, you can burn some and stick them outward if you want. Take this chest plate and put it back on. And you're all like, oh my god, open crotch syndrome. Not really. Now, you got this thing here that wedges. This right here will actually wedge over these wheels at the bottom. And that completes the waist. And this foot just came off and I don't know why. Probably because I pushed down on it. This guy usually doesn't really fall apart. 
Only thing I've noticed, and I've noticed this with every single solitary of one, is the waist is fairly loose and it likes to droop or flip forward or backwards. So if you are planning on getting this guy and gonna display him on your shelf, I highly suggest you put him toward the back. So that way if he does fall, maybe he tips and falls backward and then knock over the rest of your figures. Anyhow, here's his head sculpt. Yes, head sculpt. Head sculpt. Head sculpt. Yes, I know it's a bit dusty because he has been sitting on the shelf for a long time. Because I do collect a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to push it in all the way, but there you go. Pushes into the little thrusters in the back of the winner. And there you go. There is Landcross in his robot combined mode. Now, you're thinking, what about the guns? I've got tons of guns. Tons of guns. Tons and tons of guns. Tons of guns. Guns, 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 guns. Now, as for his guns, his guns do this combination thing. And the combination thing is primarily just any real way you want it to go, honestly. But it's got these little tabs here that stick on the side. This is the main portion of the gun. And the only thing I've seen that is the only drawback of this set compared to the rest is this does not have the hole drilled out for you to be able to plug this gun into or this one either one of those have a peg on the end if you want to you can drill that out so that way it will fit these that is the only complaint I actually have about this set that doesn't do what the G1 actually does is that one little teeny tiny thing but to be honest it's an oversight that I can just say eh, be over it and not care because I can plug in the rest of the guns just like so. Plug this one in here, and then I can plug this one in here, and then I could be like, okay, well, guess what? He's got this one rifle. Well, I don't know why that one fell out. It's probably because this one's supposed to go there. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this. But yeah. Just like so. See. Now he's supposed to be able to put this here and it makes a bigger gun, but it's okay. This will fit in his hand just fine. He does hold it. And then you can take the other gun and put it in his other hand and then he'll be like, oh lucky, he's got pew 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 in his hand over here too. Okay, who cares? He's got a pea shooter in his hand. He's probably gonna punch you in the face with this gigantic gun he's got sticking out of his knuckles. I mean, how many guns does this guy need? Anyway. That's Landcross. Now to have Landcross stand here, I'll put him in comparison with Raiden. And that's actually not a good size for comparison because he's sitting on my laptop. Oh, I mean, he wants to fall over on his face. That's what he, likes. he likes to fall over. The thing is, this guy's got crazy articulation for his design. This is his design over something. I'm just like, I don't know. Anyway. There you go. There's Landcross next to Raiden. And Phil is the one on Raiden. Let's see how tall he is. Here he is next to my Generation 2 Computron. Oh my god, what is that thing? Yeah, I know. Go back in my archives. You can actually see a video of that one. Because I've already done a review of this guy. But kind of shows you that's how big he is. He does fit in with your Generation 1. He is straight up a copy. The only thing I'm seeing that's different is not a little hole in the end of the gun, and that's it. Anyhow, this has been Plastic on. This has been yet another review, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out!